This is the first video in a short five-part series describing the installation and configuration of the Patch My PC SCUP catalog. The first video here we're going to be describing the installation of SCUP 2011. This is a requirement for our catalog because we use this to publish the updates to WSUS in order to deploy them through SCCM. So the first thing we'll have to do is install SCUP. This could be installed on your software update point that's running WSUS and SCCM or you could potentially install this on a remote machine if you wanted to run the console remotely. In my case, I'm going to install it on my software update point and WSUS server that's being used for SCCM. So I'm going to download the MSI installer for SCUP 2011 and place it on my desktop. Now we do have to run this as administrator, so what I'm going to do here is open a command prompt as administrator. Then I'm going to simply run this from the path that I downloaded it to. So that's going to launch the installation installer. So we're going to choose next here. If you're running WSUS 3.0 Service Pack 2, so this would be if your WSUS server is running on like Windows 2008 or 2008 R2, you would want to install this hotfix listed here. If it wasn't installed, the next should be grayed out. And if you want a link to the download, you can either click here in the uh, installation or you can review our PDF guide for the first part and that also has a link to the KB. We're just going to have to accept the license agreement, choose the default path, and then install. It's a really quick installation, it's just a small program. So now we can do a search for SCUP and it should be listed in our start menu. And then I'm just going to pin it to my taskbar. And then we want to run it as administrator. That's going to ensure if you have user account control enabled that we have the rights in order to publish and create things. So the first thing that we want to do is configure the integration and tell it where to publish the updates to for our WSUS server. Now in my case, I want to use a self-signed certificate. This is typically the easiest scenario if you don't have a PKI infrastructure set up. Now with server 2012 and 2012 R2, by default, WSUS no longer allows you to issue certificates for self-signed um, updates through WSUS. So in order to allow this, we have to just create a registry key and a value under HQ Local Machine Software Microsoft Update Services Server and then Setup. There's also going to be a link to the blog post from Microsoft that describes how we have to set this up. And that will be listed in the PDF guide if you want to review that. But the value name we need to call our D word value is enable self signed updates or enable self signed certificates I mean and we want to set the value to this to 1 so this will allow WSELS to create a self signed certificate that we can use for our server now we should be able to go in and enable publishing to an update server this will allow us to connect to our WSUS server. Now in my case, since I installed WSUS locally, I can choose this first option. If you're if your WSUS server you're publishing your SCUP updates to were remote, you could simply check this box, enter the host name of that and the port. So we verified the connection. Now we just have to get a certificate. So in our case, I'm deciding to use a self-signed certificate. If you would like to use a PKI based one, we also have a link that describes the requirements for that certificate in our PDF guide. So it looks like we created our certificate OK. So that looks good for configuring the uh, update server for WSUS. Next thing, we just have to enable Config Manager integration. Since Configuration Manager is also running on this server that's running WSUS, I can just choose the local option. If your Configuration Manager site server was remote, we would choose this option and enter the name in there. There we go. And then we'll choose OK out of here. And that's pretty good as far as the installation of SCUP. So we've got that configured. The next thing that we have to do is get our certificates exported so we can import them so our clients and our server trust them. So in order to do that, we just have to connect to our certificate store using an MMC snap-in. 
So we're going to connect here. We're going to view the computer account certificates for the local computer. And then we're going to go down, and there's going to be a new WSUS node here. And this is the self-signed certificate that was created from our WSUS server that we created through SCUP. So what we want to do here is export this certificate. For now, I'm just going to place this on the C drive. I'm going to call it SCUP. Okay. The next thing that we'll want to do is go to our um, domain controller or a machine that you have the group policy console installed on. So in my case, I just logged into my domain controller and now what we want to do is create a group policy that tells our computers to trust this certificate. So we're going to go under computer configuration, policies, windows settings, security settings, and then public key policies. And then what we're going to do is import that certificate file that we exported. We want to import it into the trusted root certification authorities. So I'm just going to browse out. I saved this on my SCCM server on the C drive. So I'm just going to go browse out to the C dollar sign of that machine and then select the certificate. And I'm going to import it. Okay. And we also have to import it into the trusted publishers. This is a requirement for the Windows Update Agent. Any update we install has to be trusted by our uh, trusted publishers. So we're going to just import it here as well and then finish. And that's all we need for the certificates. We will need one more setting that will tell our clients to allow the installation of third-party updates. And that's going to be under administrative templates, Windows updates, and allow signed update from intranet update location. This is required for us to be able to use third-party updates within our environment. So I'm going to enable this uh, option to allow that. And I did apply this at the default level, so this will apply to everything within my environment. So I'm going to go back to my server, and then we're just going to simply run a gp update forward slash force. And then if we open up an MMC snap in, and then we add the certificates store for the computer account, what we'll see is we should now see the WSUS server self-signed certificate got published to the trusted root and the trusted publisher store and that was done from group policy that's the easiest way to push your certificates out to all your clients so they trust the updates and that will conclude video one for the installation and configuration of scup 2000